Hey guys, and happy Thursday. Um, it's me again. I decided to make a pre-recorded video because this week has been super tough and I wanted to be able to upload this to YouTube as well as on my page on Facebook. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lacey and I am the owner of the Stork Secret 40 Ultrasound um, prenatal imaging clinic. Um, our clinic offers gender reveal blood draws, gender reveal ultrasound starting at 14 weeks, as well as 4D ultrasound um, for purposes of facial imaging of the fetus. Um, we are located in Whitehall, Arkansas, right across from Hunter's Refuge. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into the purpose of this video. So, I wanted to do something different, a different giveaway this month, and I decided to do my personal Amazon favorites, Best of Baby 2022. Um, these are my favorites that I used with Holland on a daily basis. Um, they're in no particular order. I have linked everything down below for you guys. Um, and definitely hit up the links and pick out the stuff that you like the best and DM me when you get it and you actually use it and let me know how much you love it. I love hearing how much others love this stuff just as much as I do. So we're just gonna jump right in. Um, first, I'm gonna start out with these. I accidentally ordered two of these. So you're gonna win two. Um, before I jump into this, don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel, as well as if you want to be entered to win this whole box of products, because it's literally a huge box. Let me show you guys. It's right over here. Huge Amazon box. It's $292 worth of product. Um, all of my Amazon favorites. If you want to be entered to win, just share this video on Facebook and comment on the actual video and you'll be entered to win. I'm going to draw sometime next week. Um, I'll put that in the actual comments when I'm going to draw. I just want to give this um, time to be shared and everybody an opportunity to enter to win. Now first up, we have our Copper Pearl um, Burp Cloth. Um, I love Copper Pearl, love everything about Copper Pearl. We have so many Copper Pearl products. Uh, a favorite of my sons in the Copper Pearl is the um, weighted blanket. It's not necessarily weighted, but it's so thick. It's like three layers. It feels weighted. He's had that since he was a year old. We did not give him a blanket until his first birthday. That was like this huge celebration milestone. He never slept with a blanket. Uh, for Sid's purposes, and he's had this blanket since his first birthday. He carries it to daycare, uses it during nap time. Um, he loves it. It's super soft. It feels like Pima cotton. And um, these are the Copper Pearl Burp Cloth versions. Um, I bought the print Maui. It seemed the most gender neutral. Um, on the prints, there are turtles and surfers and little VW buses, then there's tie-dye, and then there's pineapples. I thought this was the most gender neutral version that they offered. I love these burp cloths because they were super absorbent and they were just so soft and they come in so many stylish prints. And you guys know me, I'm all about style. I'm all about matching, love it, baby has to match. Even though I had a boy, um, I love to accessorize him. I always accessorize him when he was a baby, and I still accessorize him. I believe burp cloths, bibs, um, pacifiers, and clips, you can still accessorize them, even though they don't wear a bow. So, this was a big deal for me. I also bought the matching bandana bibs for the giveaway box. And they are right here. I'm not going to take them out of the plastic because these are going to go to you. I want them to be clean. I'm sure you'll wash them before you actually put them on your baby. But these are super drool absorbent right here. Um, they're super soft. 
and on an infant they come down pretty far um, now when they get bigger you have to order the bigger bibs for them um, but these were amazing for drool and spit up and bottle feeding and they have two adjustable snaps for when the baby grows when they get bigger you can loosen them up um, and these are supposed to go for ages 0 to 36 months. I absolutely love these. So next, I'm going to kind of stick with feeding because I bought a lot of feeding themed um, products. Feeding was a big deal. Um, as you know, feeding takes up like the first year of your life for sure. Um, these were the Tommy Tippy Formula on the Go Formula Cups. I absolutely loved these. We stayed on the go 24-7 whenever Holland was little. We still stay on the go now a lot um, because of my business. We travel a lot. I also thought these Formula Cups, they were a way to make sure that daycare was giving Holland the correct amount of powder in his bottles. They weren't giving him too much. Um, they weren't giving him too little. And also, instead of taking a can and possibly another baby using his formula and powder, um, you know, you just get what you get. And daycare gets to get. Nobody else gets to use it. We had this huge problem at daycare um, not at the current daycare we go to, but the daycare we went to before when Holland was an infant, uh, we would carry, we would be so trusting and carry a box of diapers at a time and a box of wipes at a time. And we would go through them so quickly, way, way more quickly than you should. And we assumed that they were disappearing and being used on other kids. And so we started carrying what he needed for the week or for the day, or basically just packing everything in his diaper bag and that was to be used for the day and that's it. Um, that cut down on a lot of use, so that's what these are really good for. If you do choose to use the Tommy Tippy bottles, these formula cups can actually sit inside the bottle, be ready to go. Um, I didn't use Tommy Tippy bottles, but I still found these very handy. Um, super easy to pull over on the side of the road and make a bottle for your baby or pull them out while you're going out to dinner, make a bottle for baby. Um, it's already pre-measured up and just ready to go. You don't have to carry around a can and a scoop with you. I just love these so much. Um, I think everybody needs those for sure. Um, along with feeding, we have these cute little silicone utensils. I think these are the absolutely cutest. Right here, you can see there is a cha uh, chag. There is a choking gag guard so the baby can't um, stick the utensil further in their mouth than they need to. Um, these are amazing for teething babies. They can suck on them, chew them, and they can also help them to scoop and feed properly. Um, they help little sore gums. And this is like for the beginning stages of feeding. Holland loved these when he was real little and when he was an infant. Ooh, I got to tickle on my nose. Mm, sorry. Holland loved these when he was a little infant. Now that he's older, he doesn't really care for these. Um, he wants something that looks more age appropriate, that kind of looks like the real thing. Um, but these were great when he was small and they were definitely worth the price point. Let's see, what else do we have for feeding? I thought we had, okay, this isn't really feeding, but it goes along with it. We have these eco-inspired mushroom teethers. Um, Holland did not actually use these, but I have tons of friends and of course with friends comes lots of babies and they all register for these. Um, these are like, they emulate the breast. These are kind of like four breastfed babies, um, but I think any baby could use these. Um, they're silicone and they're supposed to help um, soothe babies teething pain and itching gums and it says mimics and num um, the mother's 
nipple and then their raised bumps for extra sensory stimulation and they have a silicone suction base to keep it upright so this is a silicone suction base right down here i thought these were great i would definitely use these with my next baby um and all my friends have had nothing but good things to say about them so these are definitely a must have next we have Ryan and Rose cutie packs and Ryan and Rose cutie clip. Um, that's what they're called. Cutie packs or pacifiers in case you didn't know. That's Ryan and Rose's version, their name for a pacifier, a cutie pack. Ryan and Rose um, was started, I believe, in like 2016 or 17 out of the owner's home. Um, I'm in the cutie pack cutie community group on Facebook. Oh, I love that group. Um, there are a lot of cool moms in there, but this pack comes with different stage packs and um, comes with different bulb sizes. So it comes with like a flat pack, which mimics like a man pacifier. Um, it comes with like a bulb pack, which mimics like the bibs pacifiers. Um, it comes with one that um, mimics like the Philips Avian and then the traditional round. Holland liked the flat pack um, when he was like young, like starting out to six months. Um, then when he got a little older, he um, would go back and forth between the round pack and the flat pack. They did not have the bulb pack in this little other slant. Pat, they did not have that whenever Holland um, was stuck in pacifiers. They hadn't invented that one yet. Um, it has this little beaded end on it. I don't know if you can see. Here it is right here. This beaded side is for holding and for chewing. And then this side is for sucking. I will say Holland never used the beaded side for chewing like he was supposed to. He chewed on the actual pacifier part and um, he did get to a point where even with the stage two that are meant for teethers, he could chew those apart so fast um, because his teeth hurt so quickly. So we just got to the point where we had to take pacifiers away in general because they were just putting him in choking danger and harm. Um, there was not a pacifier brand out there that he couldn't destroy at one point. I think that was when he was around 18, 20 months old. So we just had to completely take them away. Um, and then this is a little cutie clip right here. You just attach the pacifier at the top. Um, Holland had pats and clips in every single color. Again, I love to accessorize my baby. Um, this was a way for me to accessorize him and his clothes. You can ask his teachers, his pats and his clips. They matched his shoes, they matched his outfit. I mean, he was blinged out when he was a baby. Um, Holland's outfits all together definitely cost more than my outfits, for sure. He was and still is a spoiled little babe. Um, oh, so this right here, this goes along with feeding. This is the best bottle rack known to man. I love this bottle rack so much. So it's like a turntable, like a Lazy Susan style. It has this little drip tray right here. So when everything is wet and it's drying, it drips down. You can pull out the drip tray, empty it. You can clean the drip tray. You can insert the little nipples and tops right here in this little piece and let them dry. Um, I loved everything about this. I think this is super sanitary. It's easy to clean. Um, in my opinion, I just don't think those little those little grass plate things that I don't know what they're even called that people use. Excuse me. I just don't think those are that sanitary. This was more sanitary in my opinion. I love this. I loved how you could spin it and um, it folded super easy for storage. This was definitely worth the price point. I would definitely buy another one, but I'm not going to have to buy another one because I folded it up and I put it in storage and saved it because it was worth it. And let's see, what is next? Okay, this has to be one of my must-haves. Like, if I would say 
like the three most must have items, it would be this, of course, this swaddle, this drying rack right here, and then this product that I'm going to talk about in just a minute. Those are like my must three out of this whole entire video that you have, you need, game changers, I mean, marvelous, magnificent, world, life changing. Um, this is one of them. This is the Love to Dream Swaddle. No, I'm not a spokesperson for them, but hey, hit me up if you want me to be because this swaddle was life. So it's a zip up swaddle and it lets the baby um, mimic natural position in the womb as well. It lets baby keep arms up in the natural feeding position. Whereas other swaddles like Halo, they swaddle their arms down real tight by their side to their body. So when they're hungry, they can't give you a feeding cue. Whereas with the Love to Dream swaddle, their arms are still up so they can still bring them over and let you know. Cause what do babies do when they're hungry? They normally chew on their hands to let you know they're hungry. Um, and this just replaces a knee for loose blankets in the crib, you know, which is supposed to decrease SIDS. Um, the wings are supposed to help the baby from accidentally rolling over onto their tummy and um, it has a hip healthy design allowing um, recommended flexion for hips and legs. Um, when they are able to roll 360, you're supposed to unzip the wings off of there and transit transition them into just the sleep sack only instead of the swaddling. Um, I got this when Holland was around 10 pounds. This is a newborn size. He got a stage two. Um, it also tells you on the back how to dress them, what to put underneath here, depending on the temperature that you keep it in your house. Um, with Holland, we kept it 68 in our house you are supposed to use a short sleeve onesie, basic onesie underneath this. You don't want your baby to overheat because um, studies have shown that overheating may possibly cause SIDS. So you don't want them to do that. So definitely read all the directions on the back. But this um, improved haul and sleep. It helped him to go on longer um, stretches without waking up and crying. It helped his startle reflex. Some people say the startle reflex is good, um, but the startle reflex, as we know, wakes them up and they're really hard to get back to sleep. Um, I loved it. I recommend it to all my friends. Um, one of my friends was having trouble with her newborn baby um, going to sleep and waking up very very often like Holland he woke up every single hour I kid you not not two hour he didn't even have a two hour stretch he woke up every single hour when we got that swaddle he went from a one hour stretch to a four hour stretch I bought that for one of my friends that was desperate for just a little bit of sleep I mean we're all desperate for at least two to three hours to sleep and it changed her baby's sleep game altogether so I definitely 100% recommend that um, next is this little nose Frida. Um, this is a nasal aspirator to get mucus and snot out of the baby's nose. Um, it works way better than the bulb that you get at the hospital. Um, it's easier to clean. Um, the little bulbs at the hospital studies have shown that RSV and other viruses can be harbored in the bulb because there's no real way to get in there and clean that bulb as good as it needs to be clean. Whereas this nose Frida, you can clean all the pieces um, very well. It comes with disposable filters. You can take them out, throw them away, buy new filters. You don't have to buy a whole new thing if you don't want to. Um, it took my mom two years to get on board with using one of these. And then once she saw how well it works, she never used the bulb again. So my son was two years old before she would actually use it. She just thought it was so gross. But the snot, it has a little blocker on the end. The snot is going to come up into the tube, but it's not gonna come up into your mouth. It never has. Um, Mike used this with me. Several of my friends use this. This has been around quite a while. It's been around longer than, it's older than Holland for sure. 
Um, he's three and a half, and I think this has been around at least eight years. Um, Frida has a whole line of baby products, but this is their number one must-have, I would say, out of all of them right here, the Snot Soaker. And then last, we have the Rope Diaper Caddy. I'm not going to take it out of the package and unfold it, but essentially what a diaper caddy is, if you've never seen a diaper caddy before, essentially what it is, is um, it's a little caddy with handles and it has little organizer compartments where you can put your diapers, your wipes, um, say your nail um, stuff like your, uh, I'm trying to think of the word here, floss for words, um, your nail clippers, um, hair brushes, baby lotion, and you can put them in different little sections and you can carry it around by the handle and carry it from room to room with you. I had one upstairs and then I had one downstairs whenever Holland was a baby. Um, that way I didn't have to carry everything in my arms and try to carry him. I could just carry the handle and carry my little baby and we could go anywhere and everywhere. You can even carry these in the car, keep your car organized and nice. You could use them for other things other than baby products. Um, but I love this. Mine was plain gray. It was not this fancy. I bought a fancier one just so there would be a nice giveaway product. I would definitely would have loved to have this design. I think it's so cute. Um, it's like boho, could be used farmhouse theme, and it's gender neutral. I try to buy all gender neutral stuff. So that is the wrap up. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys like everything you saw. I will be linking everything down below because there will only be one winner of this box. I'm going to draw for this box next week. I'll give a date in the comments for sure what day. Um, there will only be one winner, but like I said, I'm linking everything below so you can take a look and a peep and check out everything that you want that you think is a must have. Um, to enter to win this box, just go ahead and comment on this video below and share this video to your timeline. Make sure that your share post is public so I can see that you shared it and verify that. And go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. Definitely trying to grow my fan base. Um, and just let me know below what you like. Let me know down below what you like. Let me know down below what you would love to see in the next video. Because I definitely plan to make more. Tell me whether you love this video or not. What other Amazon favorites you would like to see. I'm definitely into these boxes. And I'm definitely into giveaways. And thanks again for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your week and a great weekend.